Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, we will talk about the differences between stratified sampling and cluster sampling. So friends, without further ado, let's move on right into our video. Stratified sampling. Stratified sampling is generally used when the population is heterogeneous, that is, different segments exist in the population. In this we classify the elements of population into various strata so that each stratum is nearly homogeneous. Thereafter we will select the sample randomly from each stratum. So guys in stratified sampling what we do is the total elements of the population are first of all subdivided into distinct and mutually exclusive subpopulation which is called as a strata based on some common characteristics. Here you must note that stratum is the single subgroup or category Whereas a strata is the plural of stratum, that means it refers to several subgroups or stratum. In a stratified sampling, stratum should be relatively homogeneous and strata should contrast each other. Further, once the population is divided into suitable strata, the researcher will make use of simple random sampling technique to select the sample within each stratum. Thereafter, individual stratum samples are combined to obtain an overall sample for analysis. This process of dividing heterogeneous population into relatively homogeneous groups is called stratification. It must be noted that every member of the population should be in exactly one stratum. Now I am going to give you one example for better understanding of stratified sampling. Suppose a company wants to launch student laptop. So for this the company will divide the student population into three groups based on their age that is 12 to 15 years. 15 to 18 years and 18 to 21 years. Now the researcher will choose some students randomly from each stratum which are then combined to form a sample. Cluster sampling. Cluster sampling is a method of probability sampling which is used to study large population. In this technique the entire population is divided into a number of non-overlapping subgroups called as clusters. The term non-overlapping group means that the same people or units do not appear in more than one group. Here, each group comprises of a few elements or members of the cluster called as elementary units. After that, a random sample of cluster is drawn and all the elements of that cluster is observed to gather information. In short, in a cluster sampling, rather than selecting individual units from the population, we will select the entire group or say cluster randomly that possesses heterogeneous characteristics. So, each cluster roughly represents the entire population this is because a cluster contains wide range of elements that are good representatives of the population. In other words, we could say that each cluster is a mini representation of the entire population. Besides, the selection criterion will be based on the ease of availability of requisite data. Now we will understand this with an example along with the process. So first of all, in this sampling, we will define the population. Suppose you want to know how many students would like to take maths so in this study your population is the student studying in class 10th. After that you will divide the population into clusters. At this point you have to keep in mind that each cluster's population should be highly diverse so that all the characteristics of the population can be represented. Also each cluster should have similar distribution of characteristics as the distribution of the population. Further, there should not be any overlapping between the clusters. Also when taken together the cluster should cover the whole population. In our example, we will cover all the schools in the city to avoid overlapping of the students as students are enrolled in only one school. Now, we will select the cluster for using it as sample. In our example, we can allot a distinctive number to each school and then select samples randomly. After that, we will collect data from the sample selected. Moving on to the difference between stratified sampling and cluster sampling. Meaning, Stratified sampling is a sampling technique in which the population is divided into subgroups called strata and then the samples are selected from each strata. Whereas cluster sampling is a sampling technique in which the samples are randomly chosen from the naturally formed groups that is clusters. Next, objective. Stratified sampling aims at undertaking accurate sampling along with properly represented population. As against, Cluster sampling aims at reducing cost and improving competence. Next, elements of sampling. Stratified sampling involves 
stratification of the entire population into even segments that is strata to select sampling units on the other hand in a cluster sampling few subgroups are selected at random and then the elements within those subgroups are taken into study next when it comes to cost and convenience cluster sampling is better this is because when compared to the stratum of the stratified sampling clusters can be obtained easily and the focus of the study remains on the cluster instead of the whole population this reduces the overall cost involved selection of elements in stratified sampling we randomly choose items from each subgroup whereas in a cluster sampling we randomly choose a number of subgroups and then study them collectively as a whole this means that in a cluster sampling members from randomly selected clusters are a part of the sample conversely in a stratified sampling researchers consider individual components of the strata randomly to be part of the sampling units division in a stratified sampling the researcher decide the criterion on the basis of which strata is divided on the other hand cluster sampling depends on natural division next homogeneity and heterogeneity in a stratified sampling the researcher try to secure homogeneity within subgroups and heterogeneity between subgroups whereas in a cluster sampling the researcher try to secure heterogeneity within subgroups and homogeneity between subgroup in other words different clusters are sought to be similar so friends this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope the concept has been clear now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of stratified sampling and cluster sampling along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below i hope you like this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbi signing off